Sooner or later, you may need to make a long cut along the grain of the wood that is wider on one end than the other. Of course, this is called a taper and is mostly seen on table legs. And it's one of the few cuts that you can't make using just your miter gauge or the rip fence that came with your table saw. You're gonna need a jig. You can buy taper jigs like this one from Microjig. This one allows you to dial in very specific measurements and repeat them very accurately and safely. The only drawback is that taper jigs like this can be pretty expensive, but if you're in a production environment where you're gonna be making a lot of table legs and need consistency, it makes sense. However, for most of us hobbyists, making tapered cuts is just not something that we need to do very often. So it makes more sense to just make your own taper jig. There are a lot of really cool and really fancy DIY taper jigs online that you can make, but honestly, even these seem overly complicated for something that may get used once a year or even less. So in this video, I wanna share with you my ultra simple taper jig that you can make with just some scrap plywood. You'll need a couple of toggle clamps. I'll include a link in the description for these ones that I picked up from Amazon. And don't forget, all of the plans and videos in this series of woodworking jigs are in one place and free over at myshopjigs.com. For this demo, I'll just make up a quick standard table leg by gluing together a couple of boards, then ripping this blank so that it's square. The important thing about this jig is that it's all held together with screws, not glue. That way it's adjustable. I'll start by making two strips of three quarter inch plywood for the fence. I'll cut both of these and a wider board for the base all to the same length. Now what I can do is screw together these two pieces for the fence. I'll just make sure that they're flush first. Now I can attach this fence to the base using the actual leg, whatever size that is, as a guide to make it parallel with the edge. So about like that is flush. Mostly I'm just using this to square up the fence and make it fairly parallel with the base. So once that's in place, I'm just gonna clamp it down. Those clamps will just hold this into place so that I can drive a few screws through the bottom. Okay, here I'm cutting out a small strip to act as a cleat. This is gonna be attached down here on the bottom, but I need to drill a couple of holes first. These pilot holes will just prevent it from splitting. And I'll drill a hole for a set screw right about here. This is a two inch long screw. If I was doing a real thick table leg, I might need a longer one. Now I can attach these two toggle clamps. Two screws in each one should be fine. And that's all there is to my tapering jig. Let me show you how this works. So before you cut anything, you need to make a few marks on your table leg. First of all, there's two measurements that you need to determine. The first one is where does the taper begin? A taper rarely starts at the very top of a leg. Usually you need a flat section to attach it to the skirt of a table. So, you know, for a typical 30 inch table leg, I might go down say six inches, maybe eight inches before beginning the taper. So I'm gonna make a mark at six inches here. Using a square, I'll just take that all the way around the leg. Next thing you wanna do is up here in the area that's not gonna get cut is just label each side. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be important so you can keep these straight. Next you wanna figure out what you want the dimensions of the bottom of the leg to be when it sits against the floor. So in other words, if you had a 
two inch by two inch blank and you wanted the bottom of that taper to be one inch, you would need to remove a half inch from each side. In this case, this is an inch and a half square block and I think I'm gonna take it down to three quarters of an inch square, which means I need to take half of that three quarter, three eighths of an inch off of each side. Those of you using metric will have a much easier time of that. So what I want to do is back this set screw out to three eighths of an inch. Again, half of a three quarter inch. All right, right there looks good. Now I can take my blank and set it in place. I'm going to keep number one facing up for this first cut. So I'm going to set it against this cleat and pressed up against that screw. I want to make sure that the top part is pressed against the fence that way. Now what I can do is lock these toggle clamps into place. And these can be adjusted to various tensions and this piece here slides back and forth wherever you need it. Yeah, I'll set this over here on this side of my blade. I want to raise the blade up so that it's going to cut all the way through that. About there. Now what I can do is just slide my fence over so that the teeth of the, bl of the blade are going to start cutting into the table leg right at that line. So it looks like right about there should do it. Now I'll just slide this through and make that first taper cut. Now I can unclamp this and cut out an adjacent side. In this case, I'm going to have number two facing up. Just make sure that it's an adjacent side and not the opposite side. So with that two facing up, I'll set this in place. And what you'll notice is that this one now is too loose because I've shaved away that under part. So first I'll just lock that down. Now I can use that wedge that I cut out and use it to prop this up a little bit. And I'll cut that side. Before you cut those final two sides, you want to set this aside and cut out the other three table legs. Assuming you have a four-legged table, get those sides, they're one and two first before setting up for the last two sides. So I've got side three facing up this time. Now, the problem here is if I use that same set screw, it's gonna be in too far because I removed this face. So what I wanna do here is just double this length so it's up to the full three quarter inch. Perfect. Now I can set that in place again, up against the cleat and pressed against the screw. Make sure the top is against the fence and lock this in place. So remember, I'm not adjusting the rip fence at all throughout this whole procedure. Now I'll get that final side. This time I'll have number four facing up. And there's how the table leg turned out. The taper starts six inches from the top and it tapers down to three quarter inches square. Since everything on this is just screwed in place, you can adjust it each time that you make table legs. What I like to do is adjust this fence side to side so that I can line up one side of the table leg block against the side of the sled. And depending on the thickness of your legs, you may need to add an extra thick plywood piece for this fence to raise these clamps up, but it's just all fully adjustable. You'll know the changes that you need to make as you make the table legs. One other tip that probably goes without saying is that when you're making table legs, make five, make a fifth one that you're gonna be testing this setup out on. Usually I just make the fifth one out of plywood. I think this is a great taper jig. It's so easy to make and so easy to use. No, it's not the most precise jig that you can make, but here's the thing. Nobody is ever gonna come over to your house with a pair of calipers or a tape measure and double check your measurements. 